Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus Nord CE4 Lite, and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now, um, before I do so, I am going to quickly mention that you can do this kind of reset in order to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. Now, by doing so, for the most part, most of the devices will become FRP locked, and what that means is when reset is finished and you go into the setup of it, you'll need to verify either the screen lock that was previously used or the Google account that was logged in on the device before the reset. So, I have well, both of those, so for me this device will become locked and uh, I'll also be recording a video separately on how you can bypass this if that is something that you need. But now, jumping to the reset, I'm gonna lock the device and proceed from the lock screen as though I don't know my pattern. So number one, we will need to turn off our phone and we can do so by holding power button and volume up. And then you wanna just swipe down here to turn off your device. Wait for the device to vibrate, which will indicate that it's fully off. So even though the screen is blocked right now, it's still shutting down. There was the vibration. So now we can hold power button and volume down at the same time. And in a moment, once you see the OnePlus logo, you can let go of the power button, but keep holding volume down. In a second, we will see the language selection, at which point you can let go of the volume down button and then click on your desired language. Next, select format data. This will generate a random code, which you can see right over here. All you need to do is just type it in on the keypad. For you, it will be different than it is for me, as it does change every time you press the format data button. So I'm going to just type in 5011 and then select format and this will now begin formatting all the data on the device it takes only a couple of seconds as you can see it's already finished so we're going to click on ok and this will reboot the device and to continue resetting it in the background because it is continuing the reset it will take the device a little bit longer to boot back up now once the reset is finished we will be presented with android setup screen so i'll be back once that is visible for me And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.